Hey, what's up, guys? This is Sports Blitz here, bringing you some more NFL news. Today, we hear some more news on the Jamal Adams and Seattle Seahawks contract situation. Um, there is reports that Jamal Adams may, in the negotiations, may try to call himself more of a linebacker, um, potentially to get more money. I think it's pretty valid because he does play up in the box quite a bit, in the front seven quite a bit. Um, you know, he, do, he does blitz a lot. He does get a lot of sacks. So it would be a pretty um, would be a pretty legit argument. Um, I think he's still a bit more of a safety. But, yeah, let's go ahead and hear what Mike Garofolo has to say about it. An update on the Jamal Adams situation. As we know where he and his agents stand in regard to their negotiations with the Seahawks, both sides very much dug in at this point. But that doesn't mean that the communication has stopped. In fact, I'm told that Kevin Connor and Robert Brown, the agents for Jamal Adams, were spotted on the sidelines in Vegas the other night before the preseason game having conversations with Seahawks upper management as both sides try to come to an agreement here on the finer details because again they're close on overall compensation it's really about the structure of the deal at this point as both sides try to find some common ground to push this thing across the finish line and I understand that Adams is frustrated right now saying hey we really didn't make progress on talks until I got here for training camp, at which point the Seahawks said, we're not only going to make you the highest paid safety, we're going to do it by a wide margin and bump you well above Justin Simmons at the top of the market. And Adam saying, okay, well, let's have some dialogue back and forth. And the Seahawks saying, no, that's our final offer. That's where we push to. Adam saying, well, what about my final offer as he tries to get that through? And then that's really kind of where things stop from a number standpoint. But keep an eye on this one because the communication is expected to continue and let's see if both sides can get something done before the start of the regular season. So, a lot of interesting stuff right there. Um, so, the two sides haven't hadn't really made much progress before the start of training camp. Um, but kind of right as training camp started, it sounds like they made a lot of progress. Sounds like the, the Seahawks offered to make him the highest paid safety in the league. And by a wide margin... Um, you know, higher paid than Justin Simmons. Um, but it sounds like Jamal Adams isn't completely satisfied with that. Um, I know Mike Garfolo didn't really mention it here. Um, however, I saw a report from, I want to say it was Ian Rappaport, that said he may, you know, try to, try. He may he may try to use that leverage to say, you know, he's a linebacker and he can do it all because um, he is a big hybrid type of player. It'll be really interesting to see how this plays out. Um, I personally think he will still play this season without the contract extension. I don't think he would sit out about it. But, yeah, definitely an interesting situation to monitor. Um, when we get more information out there, I will make sure to provide that to you guys but please make sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already guys we're only seven subs away from 350 um the support is greatly appreciated and i will see you next time later